Welcome back to another episode of Hard and Uncut. So we're going to resume the game. And uh, last episode, I think we just need to take a moment. Just take a moment because Pev Bot Kerman, pilot. I think it used to be Jeb. Pev Bot Kerman died in the last episode. Um, we are down to two Kerbals. Um, and uh, we could buy. We could hire another one. It's going to be 81,000. Uh, that will go down if I lose another Kerbal. The big problem is we don't have a scientist. I actually really need a scientist. We don't have one. Um... I don't want to hire one, so the, the, we're going to ask a few questions. We got we got the science last time to do this, so we're going to use this now. I'm going to go and build a craft while I talk to you. So, the question I have for you, and please, you know, show your respects to Pevbot. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below. You know, be, tell tell your greatest story about him. Um, what I think we, uh, you know, what I'm not going to put any science on this. What I'm doing, I'm, uh, am I? Am I? You know what, I am going to put science... No, I'm not. I'm not going to put science on. I'm going to put that on anyway. Right. Um, what I've got to ask you is, if I lose any more Kerbals, am I allowed to, to, to spawn them in? Can I can I spawn them in? Is that possible? Or do I have to pay for them? Are you going to make me pay for them? Is the question. We can get rid of that stuff. Oh, Baleen is in. Right. Now, there is no ablator on this. So do I need some heat shieldy? I think I do. We're going to have to spend 600 for a heat shield, right? So there's our heat shield on. That should help, but equally, I don't need all of the ablator of, of that. Mutton bear do. Let's, let's go 120. You no. Know, you know what, sea monsters? Go full ablator. We don't want monoprop. All right. So we need to build a craft under this. And I'm going to take that tank, even though it's expensive. We're going to put it there for now. Right, we're going to go with, uh, we need a decoupler. Where's our decoupler? So yeah, so am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to, uh, to do that? I don't know. Also, um, if I don't do that, I'm thinking the only way that we're probably going to get Kerbals is probably going to be um, rescue missions because I can't afford to buy many Kerbals. So we're going to have to do rescue missions, I think, to try and get the Kerbals. Right, there we go. Put that on there. Right, there we are. Now... Now that gives us 500. Actually, you know what? That doesn't because that is not in a vacuum. So that's going to give us uh, 2,300. Right, that's a lot. So if I can get that anywhere near, if I can get that anywhere near the atmosphere, we're, we're sorted. We're, we're, in, we're, we're gold, golden, aren't we? Right. So now I need to launch that. Now, we are on a limit here because I am on a limit for mass and parts. I've got 21 parts left to use. So we're going to use one of these. And put it there and this is one of the reasons why i like the bigger tanks because uh, you don't actually realize uh, when you're actually playing the game uh, normally like just playing long but uh, the actual it is input you know you, you could just put lots of small tanks on but you run out of parts and that that is a problem um take two of those there we go now we have had comments about not using um not using fins don't know what you're talking about i always use fins always use them don't know, don't know what you're talking about there. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do this, let's take that off there. I want this to be a nice one. Let's put it as um, that one. I prefer that one. Yeah, that's good. What's that going to do for my... Yeah, that's a nice shroudy. Right, that's good. So, uh, what's that going to be? Oh, that's more than enough. That should be able to get me into orbit. Uh, what's this going to do? Um, sea level, actually. Yeah, that's going to be 1,000, that's 2, that's, oh yeah, that's 3,000 items, easy. Uh, thrust isn't brilliant. I could put some solids on. I could go for a little bit of flea boosty solid. Um, I could go for a thumper. How much is that weigh? 7 tons. I don't have 7 tons. I've got a tiny amount. That doesn't fit. Um, I could put one of these on, I think. Is that a pair of these? I could put a pair of those on. Um, and that is hardly good, is it? So maybe what we actually do is we take that off and we actually go for a smaller tank, which is not what I was planning on doing, but we'll do that. There we go. And that gives us now a thrust away of 1.27. That's better. That's a nicer thrust away. Um, do I need do I need to put myself a set of fins on this? That's a good question. We'll do it. We'll put some fins on because people are complaining. People are complaining about finnage. So there we go. Two fins. Three, three fins. I can't even count. Three fins on the bottom of the craft there just to give us no error at all. And you know what, I'm gonna put four on because I don't like three. I'm gonna put four on, I'm gonna put them there like so. Can I change the color? I cannot, that's terrible. Right, this is going to be um, an orbit one. Uh, is it orbit three? I think I think it's gonna be orbit three. 
uh, not like that because I've just done a one there so we'll just do two more there right we're gonna save that and that's it I think that is it we, we, we're not trying to do science this time we're just trying to get into orbit so that decouples let's check out decoupling that decouples fires that engine that decouples then we've got back parachute this parachute I'm tempted to remove that I'm tempted to remove it because it's throwing us off or I could be clever and put two on that's what we'll do not four we'll put two on just because I can there we go right so that gives us a little bit of security and uh, I'm actually going to move this up um, uh, no I'm going to move it up even further actually and I'm going to put another one of those on there um, and then we're going to just uh, we're going to recess them a little bit could be a little cheeky what time we're on? we're on nine minutes I've already wasted six minutes of my time doing this fiddling around right I'm nervous can you tell I'm, I'm actually nervous about launching this craft because if this goes wrong we uh, we don't have much left to go with so save it and launch right so comments down below i'm going to start to need craft off you because watching me build every craft is going to take an episode two episodes to build a craft and that's not fair so i'm going to need you to start building me craft so you need to be thinking about ideally what i'm thinking is something maybe in the beyond beyond Kerbin sphere of influence beyond the moon minimus area because i could put those together um, right so we have bellini or whatever your name is um yeah we, we, I, don't worry we we're, we're experts at this by now there we go Right, we're gonna go up, we're gonna wait until we get a bit of height, then we're gonna start turning over. We're gonna try, we're trying for orbit. My concern is if I get her stuck in orbit, that will be the problem. Right, um, we're going up, it's not brilliant, is it? I just need this stage to get me near orbit. The rest of it, can, the, the upper stage should be able to get me to orbit or, or keep me in orbit, shall we say. Right, come on, turning over. See, she has not actually developed any other skills like hold prograde or anything yet. So that is a problem for me as well, um, because I am just not going to be uh, I'm not going to be assisted by my pilot. My pilot gives me stability assist right now, and that's about it, which is nice. You know, I'm not 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 criticizing. You know, I'm not not criticizing the pilot, um, Bellini or what are you? B Belline, Belline, Belline. We need to remember your name because uh, there's only two names to remember. I've forgotten the other one. Sen, sen, con, bot, don, bot, 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 something. I can't remember. It's terrible. Right. Uh, we're getting on up there. I really want my app wipes to be about 70 before this craft uh, burns out of stuff. Right. We're about 500. I think that's enough to be uh, at about 45 degree angle, isn't it? I don't actually, you know what? I don't do good gravity turns on Kerbal. Never have. Too used to realism overhaul. That's the reason. Right. We're coming on up there. My time is at seven minutes, so we should have enough to get this thing into orbit. We may even get it out of orbit in this episode. Right, we're going up, and I don't think we're going to make it to the height I want to make it to. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Come on, right. We're go what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this engine down a bit. We're going to let it just sip, sip the fuel, sip the fuel. We don't, we don't, worry, we don't want to push too much to get the air resistance and things like that. Just want to sip the fuel. Just sip delicately upon the fuel. Just so much that... We just get like that, and then there we go. Right, and then we're gonna fire this one at full belt. Right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna get this right. Come on, we can do this. So we've got 2,000. I think I think we've got it. I think if I can do this, if I can actually get the altitude, I think I can do this. I think I can. I'm just gonna. It's gonna be a tight one. It is gonna be a tight orbit. Um, I don't know if there's a, a requirement. Does it, it doesn't have a minimum altitude or anything like that. We just need to be orbital. Okay. So right now we're actually not burning efficiently. I'm going to slow the burn down a bit. There we go. Slow it down. Because you can see, although I'm burning below the horizon, we're actually, uh, yeah, I don't know how far away. I'm going to have to use the map view, but the map view is rubbish at the moment because of this. I do not have the bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to fast forward my warp until I'm in the atmosphere um, and I'm going to wait until we're at 70 and then I'm going to start doing my burning because I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay once I get to 70. Um, right, and this, are we going the fastest that we've ever got? No, we've got no contracts have we? Are we going to, uh, what's this? Is this one? Let's get the atmosphere. Yeah, whatever. We've not done that. Okay. Um, right, we're over 70. So we're going to set the engine on and go down a bit like that. There we go. Right. 
we're now going down a little bit on our apoapsis, which is good. I oh, know it's leveled off, so I need to just tip it again. So we need to get this just up, just up to, to touching, just up to touching. I don't want this to rise too high, so I'm gonna put my nose down again. Put that down, put that down, Shep, put that down. Watching my fuel, making sure we don't run out. I think we're gonna be fine. I think we've got it. I could actually probably have put more on this. Okay, I think that's it. I think we've got it, come on, come on. And there we go, cut out, right. We are in orbit. Has it done it? Have we got, come, come. Why am I, why, why I'm clicking on things. Right, we've got four and a half minutes, four and a half minutes. So, let's have a look. Um, what have we got? Contract completed, orbit curbing, that's that. Okay, um, orbit curbing, 25, okay. Let's get, let's get, right, we can get rid of all this stuff now, right? Okay, uh, can you give me a crew report? Uh, don't get anything for that. Do I get anything for this? Is this biome specific just spaced near? Is pressure biome specific? No, so I needn't bother bringing two of them. Okay, well, we'll maybe use them on the way down. I don't know. We can't EVA you because we don't have that possibility yet. Right, what's our situation with electricery? We're not using any because uh, we're wonderful. So that's the island, that's the airfield. That's Woomberang or whatever it's called. I wanna go around and tell them on the other side. So we're gonna go around all the way to the other side and then we're gonna start doing our return Um Oh, we've got a signal there, that's nice. So there's obviously a, some sort of transmission station there. There's one there as well, how wonderful. Right, now we're going to drop ourselves down. Um, right, let's have a look. So I wanna turn the whole craft around. This is, uh, oh no, I don't actually, because I'm facing the right way, because we're around the other side of the planet. Uh, silly, silly monsters. So I have three minutes to get this down. So there we go. Uh, there, I think there is good. Yeah, there's good. Right. Um, Okay, so now we're just gonna fast forward time warp until I actually enter the atmosphere. This is a little nerve wracking, if I'm honest. Um, it's on hard mode, so the, the heating and things like that are a little bit more extreme. Oh, there's the, the thing that's got a, an island in it, that's nice. Um, I could use the engine to slow down. I don't think that's a good idea. I think, uh, I think what we wanna do is do this. We wanna put that there. And then we wanna tap the go faster button because I have two and a half minutes to land this thing. So two and a half minutes to get this thing down. So we're gonna we're gonna, gonna go we're gonna be going no not like that. There, there we go. We're gonna be going through the atmosphere with a little bit of uh, a little bit of speed with us. Um that's gonna be when risky. Okay, so we've got it set when risky. Why did they not deploy last time? Is this something I've got them set wrong at? That's the other question I've got to ask. If, have a look at that. Have a look on screen. Pause it. Rewind it. Do all that stuff that I love because it looks good on the algorithm if you do a lot of rewinding and things like that. And tell me what you see. Is there any? Is there anything wrong with this? Is my minimum pressure wrong? Minimum altitude? You know, spread angle. Maybe my minimum altitude should be higher. I don't know. Um, well, you know what? We could actually we can actually burn the ship to bits if we don't keep on our. Actually, what's T do? Is T going to be? Is it gonna center? Yeah, T's gonna center it. Okay, so turning off stability is actually just gonna let it center. So by putting that heat shield on the bottom, we now actually have a stable craft. It was flipping around before, and I think that's because this bit was heavier. Now we've got the heat shield. The heat shield is actually quite heavy. So we're gonna keep an eye on that as well. How much del how much, uh, how much ablator are we gonna use? Because we don't wanna be carrying too much ablator. Ablator is very heavy. All right, one minute 20. We're coming over the desert. I think we're going to ditch probably in the... We're probably going to ditch in the desert, actually, aren't we? We're going to land in the desert. Oh, hold on a second. I think I can get something. We've got... Not that. What about that? No. Upper atmosphere. So we need to... You know what? We need to get ready because I don't think we've landed in a desert. Oh, there's the moon. Or the moon. It's always the moon, isn't it? It's always the moon or the moon. Right. So I think... Are we now... Are we now low enough for me to do this? Yes, I am. Can I get this one? No, I can't. Can I get a crew report? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Okay, and I can do an EVA when I land there, so that's perfect. So we're gonna pop those. Now they see the interesting thing is there, I don't actually need those drug shoots. This heat shield with that approach is just better, isn't it? It's a non, well, is it non-ballistic? I don't know, it's sort of semi-lifting body approach. I have 25 seconds. This thing has got to land in 25 seconds because I have to freeze this 
thing and I actually need to film another video for a different series so that's gonna be a problem right we need you to yeah I need you to um, yeah you deploy and then we'll just what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll cut that one yeah and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we'll come here come here come here good 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 I just need to cut you no the time is up right Ah, so until next time, when this is going to have to have landed, it's going to have landed by next time. Um, have a great one.